What's going on, everybody? Hello. Welcome to a new edition of Pop Drunk. I'm Ed. I'm Heather. And uh, we got a table full of boxes. Not only do we have a table full of boxes, I got more boxes over here. So we're gonna open a bunch of bunch. Of, uh, I can't even talk. A bunch, a of, bunch, bunch of, of boxes. And where are the? Most of these were purchased because San Diego Comic Con was the majority of yes. them. So we've got a couple boxes from Entertainment Earth. We've got a box from, uh, what is this? Uh, this is Entertainment Ent Earth. No. I don't know what this Entertainment is. Entertainment Earth, Entertainment Earth. This is the Fluffy, Fluffy Shop. Shop. This is Gabriel Iglesias. I don't remember what this is. Mm. I literally have no idea. Oh. But. Trans World Entertainment. We also have a Fun Days box, which Yay! we're going to get to. And we also have, oh, it's so, so big. Uh, the entire Funko Shop bundle. So we're going to open up all kinds of stuff yes. here. Uh, and what are we drinking? So we're trying to go with the theme of, you know, San Diego, Comic-Con and stuff. So really, it was kind of hard to find some stuff. It's true. It's so, true. Well, San Diego, you're not known for your liquor. Yes. <laughs> but today, which is the 3rd of August. 3rd of August. It's Saturday. Saturday. It is also... Watermelon Day. It is National, National Watermelon, Watermelon Day. Day. So. So I am a sucker for gimmicks. And if it comes in a funky bottle, whether I like it or not, I buy it. So I found Watermelon Smash by Captain Morgan that came in this funky little bottle. But there's a gimmick to the bottle. And I love gimmicks. That's what I was just going to say. I was like, The yeah. bottle it's is scratch and sniff. It smells it, like watermelon. It smells pretty damn good. So, that's what I'm going to be shooting yes. today. So, I was, you know, I was like, okay. Well, it's funny, though, because <laughs> I'm kind of counteracting the, the, you know, balance of the sugar. Right. But, we have a cruise coming up. We do. So, I am currently in mental cruise state. So, I'm like, I got to get that mm, cruise body. You got to get the cruise body. So, I don't need a cruise body. Because, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, this is Smirnoff's Zero Sugar Infusion. Mmm, we fancy. Watermelon and mint. Zero sugar. All right. Yes. And so my shooter. Oh yeah, I have a shooter. It's full of sugar, which you know. <laughs> look, I had to finish the bottle of wine. So after this, I'm good. But this is actually from California. That's close. Oh, no, yeah. California is San Diego is That's in true. California. Yeah. So it's a red uh, Moscato. All right. Well, mine is from Four Hands Brewing Company, and it is juiced and. Um, we drank some Four Hands beer a couple shows ago. Yep, from St. Louis, because that's where I went for vacation. I had to get their local beer. I didn't like it, and I've already had one of these beers, and I didn't like it either. But the only reason I'm drinking it is because we don't throw away beer in this house. No. Nah. So I have to drink it, so I needed a shooter. So, yeah. Um, so yeah so we'll you don't on. like the wine. And I don't drink wine. Don't do it. So, all right, well, let's open some stuff. Now, we got rules. We're going to yes. carry over the rule from last video, where if any of these are damaged, got to take a shot. Uh, but we're going to play a different game with uh, with the Fun Days box. So, yes. there's three pops in there. Nobody knows what they are. So, before we pull it out, we're going to each take a guess on which pop that it is. And if we're wrong, got to take a shot. And I got a feeling we're going to be taking three shots. Yes. Um, hopefully, there's no damage to these. Um, but I don't know. Let's find out. Let's start, uh, let's start with this one. I don't know, again, I don't know where this is from because it doesn't have the actual company on it. And if it does, it's like the company's like corporate name. So I don't know. So I'm going to drink a little bit of this beer. It's not good beer. Sorry, Four Hands. It good. And then we're going to see what we got. Yeah, so I hope everyone is having a uh, fantastic August so far. <laughs> Well, it's like three days in. Yes. All right, so what is this? What did I order, and who did I order? Oh, it's FYE. Oh. I forgot. Hey, there's a wine voucher. That's a new <laughs> theme, the, the, the wine voucher. If anybody wants to zoom in and steal that wine code, you're more than welcome to buy, like, $500 worth of liquor and get $100 off or something. But um, not a good deal. this is the Halloween Stitch. So... I kind of bought this before I did a purge, uh, where I said I was only going to collect like stuff that really fit into the collection. I wasn't just going to buy mm -hmm. to buy anymore. But it's stitched with a pumpkin, and it's a and Halloween like, pumpkin. To be so. fair, it's Halloween. It's always Halloween in 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 the house. Yes. So people come over and they go, 
why do you still have your Halloween decorations up? Oh, no. And we're like, those aren't Halloween oh, no. decorations, brother. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, you know what? And it's in good shape, yes, good so I don't have to take a shot. Um, so we'll be good with that. I will, oh, you're already pouring hers. Well, She's already I'm, pouring I'm hers. Sure. So you can pick one of the Entertainment Earth boxes here. Okay. And uh, you can figure out, what are we shooting out of, though? I've got a Tina Belcher. <laughs> and I have a Bob and Linda, because Linda Belcher, <laughs> she is my spirit animal. All right. All right, so actually I'm going to steal the knife real quick. to. I'm going to open this funky little bottle here. And uh, while I'm opening this bottle, just remember you can follow us on Instagram. That At Instagram name is... Pop underscore drunk underscore. So make sure you follow us there. We're at almost a thousand followers on that. That's crazy to me. All right. There you go. Thank you. Oh, man. I don't know if I'm going to like this. It Just because I'm, I'm not like the sugary, liquory kind of guy. Like, I want my whiskeys and, you know... So I don't know if, uh, if anybody's had it. What's it called? Uh, Harry Buffalo? Hair, I, Harry Buffalo? Yeah, so it's... Oh, yeah, um, Harry Buffalo. Hollow, so you like hollow out a watermelon. And then uh, you put the booze... Yeah, they call it Harry Buffalo. Okay. And then, yeah, and then you put it back in there with booze and all the fruit marinates it. And it will fuck you up really bad. Again, we're not child friendly. So just remember that. Okay. And uh, if you're 21 and over, have a drink with us. Yes. And uh, you're opening an Entertainment Earth. All right. So I uh, hope everybody had a great week. Uh, I know we did. Uh, yes, hope everybody uh, got what they wanted. Absolutely. This should be the end of the San Diego Comic Con haul, I believe. I don't think I've ordered any other one. Oh, I know what that is. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. You know, you order so much, you completely forget. What do you got there? You. Ha oh, oh. You what? have Jaws with Quint. Oh, I thought I saw no, some. No, it's Oh, dead. yeah. No, it is no. dented. It is exceptionally yes. dented on the front of that box. Entertainment Earth, you, you did me wrong. Mm. I'm a box Nazi. What can I say? I'm sorry. But this is Jaws with Quint in his mouth. And it's bloody. <laughs> ah. So um, we're playing by the rules, and um, you got to take a shot. Well, and again, Entertainment Earth is going to get an email. Your definition <laughs> is different than mine. Because I'm like, oh, I'm yeah, like, well, know, I'm like, sure. I, I can see it from here. Oh, I can of see it from you, here. <laughs> so I'm always, guys, crazy. thank you for following us on Instagram. Thanks for subscribing to us here on YouTube. Um, Heather's going to take this shot. So it's still going to hurt my soul. I hope it doesn't. Ooh, well, look. It's it says, sugar free. I, I know. What the? It's gluten free, too. It's a great way to I would, I would imagine that all vodkas are gluten free. No? What do you think? Oh, uh, oh, all in one. <laughs> yeah? Do you taste the watermelon with no sugar? Hold on, it's after. <laughs> so, so you take it in. Take it in. And you're like, okay. Yeah. And then, and then it burns. <laughs> My tongue burns. And it's shifted, so now it's lower. Um, but I'm sure it really does burn. I'm sure that that would be really good with um, Sprite. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Just <laughs> all right. So I'm over to the other Entertainment Earth guys. All right. This one, um, this again is from. Uh, this was before I made the credo that I'm not gonna buy stuff I don't collect anymore. I'm not gonna buy to buy, but this thing looks really cool. It is Man Thing uh, from Marvel. I don't collect Marvel, don't but even know what uh, Man Thing is. well, you probably do. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> so it, it's actually really is. cool. Um, I actually saw this out of the box uh, not too long ago, and it looks really cool out of the box. But I have no interest in it. It doesn't really it's do anything heavy. for me. It's very, very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> but when it dropped, and it's like, oh, you gotta buy it, and yeah, I buy it. So, mm. all right. So I'm gonna open this one oh, because okay. you can because this one was a lot of damn work to get. And uh, so I feel oh, I've earned fair. the ability but, to open this box. But I love him a little bit more than you do. Well, that's true, but have you ever met Gabriel Iglesias? Oh, that's right. That's he right. Did. So <laughs> we've talked about it a few times here on this channel. Yep. Um, we are in the convention business, 
And one of the guys whose actual anniversary of passing was just a couple days ago, one of the greatest guys I've ever got to do business with, and we did business with him, uh, God, over 20 times, yes. maybe more. Um, the Hot Rod, Rowdy Roddy Piper, uh, RIP, God rest his soul. Yes. Uh, fantastic, so amazing. amazing man. He was booked on one of our shows. And apparently him and Gabriel Iglesias were really cool yes. friends. So randomly, Gabriel Iglesias just showed up to one of our cons. And even better, VIP party was going on, so I'm getting liquored up, just and hammered. Like partying, whatever. In the VIP area, you left to go to the bathroom. I did. So blah blah blah, and then he comes back, you know, 20 minutes later, and then he just pulls out his phone. Oh my god! Like, I was like, what just happened? And he's like, oh, he's gone now. What? All right. Yeah, so love fluffy. I ordered one of these. It was a pain in the ass. His website crashed. Um, Cause well, he wasn't expecting. He was expecting. He even put like, "Dude, this is gonna suck." And they know, even titled it on the website. Yeah. Cause he he announced it to right. go live. Yes. And then it never went live because the bots just ravaged his website. Right. And he said, "We're gonna do whatever we can to make sure everybody yeah. gets one." And he titled it on his website when it finally launched again. Yeah. And it just said, "It is what it is." That's all it was. So I ordered one. Um, the packaging is yeah. questionable. A uh, bunch of paper in here. Uh, but let's see how the fluffy pop turned out. This is the fluffy shop exclusive Gabriel Iglesias. Um, I think it looks great. Uh, the sticker is very uninspired. Uh, it is very boring. But the box is in perfect condition. So this is one I will definitely keep. Uh, I might even post it along with the photo of when I came out of the bathroom and Gabriel Iglesias was just yes. hanging out at our convention. So, <laughs> all that right. Is, that, that's really really cool because it legit like a lot of times when you get like pops of people, right? You're like, okay, kind of looks them, but it's like that. That is Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you know you know what this is uh, this is the first of the comedians line. This is number one of the comedians. Oh, line. I just noticed that. So I'm hoping. And praying. Oh, God. Don't tell I me. am praying some I... of the people we get in the comedian's line. Guys, I'm a child of the 80s. Heather hates him. My favorite comedian. <laughs> I hate him. Of all time. I could literally turn it on at any point in the day and watch it for six hours. Stop it. Start it again. I don't care. That's one way to get me out of the room. <laughs> that or a Jim Cornette uh, podcast. I can't handle Jim Cornette anymore. <laughs> but, guys, I love Andrew Dice Clay. Best comedian. I remember when I was a kid. And when I was a kid, I wasn't, you know, obviously you're not allowed to watch Andrew Dice Clay. No. So I would pretend, this is what I would do. I would pretend to fall asleep on the couch in our basement so that my mother wouldn't, like, you know, tell me, hey, it's time to go to bed because I'd already be asleep and she wouldn't want to disturb me. Whole time, wide awake. So when I knew everybody else was asleep, I would turn the TV on, turn it on HBO, or get the VHS tape that my brother had, whatever it may have been, get right up to the speaker of the television. Because <laughs> this was like the late 80s, early 90s. The televisions were these right. floor model, wood grain. And you had to keep it low, too. Oh, I mean, it was all the way down. I couldn't watch it because my ear was pressed up against the speaker. But you already know, he was doing this <laughs> the entire time of telling the joke. <laughs> Hey, I love Andrew Dice Clay. I, I hope you get Andrew know. Dice Clay pop. Um, he's probably not very well financially and could probably use a pop. But, God, think of the other options. You've got Eddie Murphy oh from God. Raw, Eddie Murphy from Delirious, Sam Kinison, George Carlin. Oh, the Sam options. Sam Kinison is another one that I Oh, like. I love Sam Kinison. I can't really. Love him. But see, all the comedians I love are kind of like that not <laughs> super high up there. But So, but I it's not damaged. No, no, it is not. But I'm going to take a shot anyway. Because he's, you know, bored. Because I'm really curious on what this tastes like. And I don't think I'm going to like it. But we're going to find out. But the thing is, we do... Woo! So we have an annual Halloween party. Woo! So if... <laughs> this is still left over in a couple months. I will definitely be putting that inside. It, it definitely, it, it, it tastes, like I can it, taste the watermelon. It is very sugary. But then that Captain Morgan just punches yeah. you in the face. 
<laughs> oh, right in the kisser. So, all right. So, all here's right. what we're going to do. I need you to do me a favor. What am I going to do? Can you remove these from the table onto your side? I think I can do that. All right. Because we've got some very large boxes coming up. Okay. So, I want to make sure. Thick and wide. Thick and wide. Well, that's, that's what women want. That's what women want, according to the radio advertisements. I, You know, it, it's between that and mesothelioma. That's what we hear on our radio all the time. Yes. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to save the Fun Days box for last. <laughs> um, so, this is a big ass box. And so here's kind of the thing, guys. I don't know, you know, you never, you can never tell when it comes to things that drop on the Funko Shop. And I know that I wanted the obviously the ad icon of the toucan i know that i obviously yeah. wanted uh, a couple other things so i did not know how quickly this was going to sell out so i don't have time to sit there and click on one add it to the cart click on right. another add it to the cart because i don't know By if these are going to sell out in like, seconds ah. so i i go with convenience i will pay for convenience so i went ahead and bought the entire bundle first thing when they dropped um but here's the thing like none of these sold out uh i think the batman sold out right and that was it the rest of these you could still did, get did the entire thing sell no, out no no it didn't sell out at all so um i screwed the pooch on that one but hey whatever right you know you win some you lose some great packaging by funko um uh, another two. one these are great too i'll use these when i send out pops these are great. Three. You know what? We're, we're going to get rid of this big-ass box. Get rid of the big-ass box. And everything is in sorters. And the first thing because is... that's how it should be. Guys, I, re oh. I refuse. I will not buy Pez, but they came in the bundle. Right. And here they are. If so. I was to ever get Pez, it would only be Golden Girls, which I know they have out there, but I'm not pursuing it. Dude, listen. So, listen. And isn't anything Golden Girls kind of like really kind of expensive? Nah, not necessarily. Here's the thing. I'm just going to open these because I, I really don't care about Pez. Uh, I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole of Pez. No, no more um, rabbit holes for Ed. <laughs> um, so, you know what? I'll probably give these away to somebody um, if you want them. But I have no interest in them. Although... I will say this, we do the there's four banana splits and then there's the toucan, uh, comic con, uh, icon. Here's the thing, I am kind of excited about the banana splits, uh, because they're coming out with a horror movie of banana splits. What? They're taking this classic, Did I... classic Hanna-Barbera cartoon, I believe it to be Hanna-Barbera, and they're turning it into a horror flick. I feel, have I... We, I might have things. shown you the trailer. I feel like I've seen, maybe on the <laughs> interwebs, something but, like that. But, um, you know, it, it's going to be low budget. I'm sure it's going to go directly to, like, Netflix or, or Shudder or something like that. But um, if you're into Pez, tell me in the comments down below. Maybe I'll send you a Pez because I literally have no use for these. And if you are to open it, it is only 35 calories <laughs> for the entire roll. Oh, for the whole roll? The whole All roll. All right. So I'm going to get the Pez out of the way. Get the Pez out of here. If you if you like Pez, let me know. You know, we'll figure out something. See, that's the thing. It's like you think the Funko Pops is crazy. Okay, so <laughs> well, when... Pez has been around I for know. like 70 well, okay, years. Okay, so I actually sent you some pictures when I took my little road trip, you know, uh side hustle like I, I stopped at the the santa claus candy store yeah and there was an entire room of like pez like just new release pez but it's like every single category and it was just chaos <laughs> and there was like a whole there was like a stranger things five pack or something i'm just pez? Like, stranger things i sent it to you yeah, i'm sure you did but it's I'm pez just like, what the all right, so these are all the, the stuff that's in there. All right. Um, let's just I'll grab one and you know, we'll see what's in the box. So I know it's just a special code, but seriously, every time though, I'm just like, ooh, is there Jeff Goldblum in one nope. of these? None of them? Nope. All right. Okay. So the first one I've got in perfect condition is Wacky Races, Hanna Barbera, Sergeant Blast. I love Hanna Barbera. It's fantastic. Uh, this is a great pop. 
Yep, Hanna Barbera used to be a very huge thing at uh, our local amusement park, Kings Island. That's right. Uh, Kings Island was Hanna Barbera yeah, themed for like, a long time. Like growing up, that was everything was Hanna Barbera. I forgot about yes. that. And yeah. then it was like because it was Paramount. Yeah. And they had the the Wayne's Wayne's World Gardmobile <laughs> up there. So uh, yeah, now it's not. It's, it's the Murph Mobile. Murph Mobile. Murph Mobile. Murph -mobile. Yeah. Yes, and he pulled the. Oh, H R Puffin stuff. I love See, HR Puff and stuff. I, I don't, I don't know anything about. Well, that. here's the thing. Ed was kind of the product of a misspent youth, and I didn't watch HR Puff and stuff as a child. But in my teenage <laughs> years, I, I'd been known to to imbibe in certain things that teenagers generally do, especially in the early and mid nineties. Yeah, dude. And uh, HR Puff and stuff was a hell of a this, trip. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Like, yes. I, just looking at the back character, and it's like, is that a, was he, like, a dragon? Or I don't what? remember. I might have watched it on mute and just enjoyed something? the visuals. I don't know. I remember Puff Mag Magic Dragon, That's though. totally different. I know so, it is. So, HR Puff and stuff. I still love this pop. This was actually one of the other ones that I really wanted, yeah. and there's another one in here, Sigmund. Because uh, like, I want that. I was like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> So, let's see what else we got. Ah, the main ah. one I wanted, which is the San Diego Comic-Con Toucan, the mascot of the San Diego Comic-Con, because it is an ad icon, and I am dead set on completing the ad icon set, that includes all exclusives, metallics, and all of that. I will complete it. I'm only a few away. So, uh, this one just goes right there in the list. Which one are you looking for? Uh, one of the ones you're looking for? I need, I need the big boy. Mm -hmm. I need the big boy, and mm -hmm. I need the metallic monsters. Mm -hmm. So, but we're almost there, and I don't care about the Freddy Funko ones because I'm not even gonna try. But uh, Hoppy the Hopperoo from the Flintstones. You know, I was actually telling Heather the other day. I said, you know what? I have a lot of Flintstone stuff. Yeah. I think like, we need to complete lot. the Flintstone set. So, yep. that's just another step in that direction. <laughs> Alright, let's All right. open these two packs. Let's open these two packs. Alright. All right. Let's get that one there. Uh, they're all coming in good shape. Now this one, I, I don't know what it is, but it's already spoken for for somebody. Uh, because oh. they missed out on something. I forget why yeah, they couldn't do anything. But it is the Vegan Police 2-pack. From Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I have never seen yep. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Um, but it is a uh, it's a very great condition 2-pack. Uh, I know that the CEO of Funko is a huge Scott Pilgrim fan. I just, I've never seen it. I just, I, I don't know, I've never sat down and seen it. So this is something that we originally started, we, we collected in the beginning. And I love, I love these things. The vinyls? The vinyl 2-packs are super awesome. Um, these are ad icons as well, but here's the thing. I personally believe, and, and you know what, if I'm wrong, put it down in the comments below. Um, if vinyl came out, if that design came out before the Fun Funko Pop line, then everybody would be clamoring for vinyls and people would be talking trash about Pops. I just believe that it was a timing, timing thing yeah. because the detail and the fact that Dude, you I, get two yeah, I love these. on the vinyls is awesome. I love the vinyls. We have quite a few. We have so many. Um, but I love the vinyls. I think they're I great. Well. Um, it's been a while since I've had to take a shot. So whether this one's damaged or not, I'm just going to take a shot because it's Saturday, guys. So if you got nothing going on or you got a designated driver and you're 21 and up, take some shots with me. This is Lazy Luke. Another from the Wacky Racers. Love it. Hanna-Barbera. It is fantastic. So I'm noticing a theme. Were they like, we like we just want to do very, like, a lot of Hanna-Barbera. Well, they, they that is one of, you know, I said he loves Scott Pilgrim. Right. Hanna-Barbera <laughs> is his favorite line, I believe. Right. I remember reading that somewhere. Um, I figured, isn't he roughly Brian Mariotti? Age? He's probably a, a little, little older. older. But still, but around yes. that, that time frame. Yes. Um, but he loves Hanna Barbera, and I love Hanna Barbera, so it works out. Because <gasps> it's the kitty cat, it's the baby puss. 
because uh, I'm 11 years old. I giggled at the name. Um, another Flintstones. Uh, yes, I love the Flintstones. I love it because it's a kitty cat. Heather loves her kitty cats. Kitty we have kitty cats. So, all right, we got two more, and then it's time for the blah. for the fun days box. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna take a shot. You wanna take a shot with me? No, not no? yet. All right, all right. Well, I'm Tina gonna Belcher. Have, I'm gonna Denver. have to take three. Is this from Tina or is this from Dina? <laughs> Dina talks like this. Tina talks like this. Oh, Alright. Alright, this is the other one. Um, I'm not a huge like Batman fan, but yeah, because he's holding the San Diego Comic-Con bag, oh. uh, I think it's fantastic. Okay. They're, that's, they're that's... calling this like cosplay Batman. Like this this might not be Batman, but this but is it... a guy <laughs> shopping at San Diego Comic-Con. That's, that's kind of funny. Dressed as that's... Batman. So, I think it's great. I love the black boxes. Uh, I think the black boxes are a nice touch. Yes. However, being a box Nazi, these it's black boxes are almost impossible to keep in, like, pristine condition. Right. Because the moment it chips, it starts to turn white. So, Ooh. like, if you bump it on anything or... It's so, you're just, telling me, wait, so we got to put it in It's going to go in a protector, like, right just, away. Okay. Yeah. So, and the last one... I don't see... I don't even remember. It's been so long. What is the last one? Oh, it's Sigmund. I mentioned Sigmund before. Remember. Once again, I don't know what what Sigmund is. Uh, it's from the HR Puffin Stuff family. Um, the world of Sid and M Marty Croft. That's right. So, again, guys, I watched a lot of HR Puffin Stuff on some old VHSs during my youth. And I mean, like, my teenage years, if you catch what I'm throwing. So I feel like, uh, like... A little bit later tonight, we need to take a few more drinks, and you need to bring this up on the YouTube. Oh, you need something stronger than drinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so. I just want to judge it. I'd be like. All right, we'll pull it up on the YouTubes. And uh, you can make sure you subscribe to us on the YouTubes. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the little, the little bell. Uh, give us a like. All that stuff, man. We're almost yeah. at 500 uh, and, subscribers. And when we get to 500, I'm guess what? Giving away a two-pack Kang and Krotos from The Simpsons. Yes! Gonna send it right your way. So Come on. You, get us to 500, guys. Come on. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Tell your mom. Be like, hey, <laughs> these people, they're kind of cool. So you should like subscribe. And then once we get there, we'll be like, give some stuff away. All right. So if you could take some I, of these and put them over there, because I just have no room. I have boxes, just empty boxes and shit over here. So Story of my life. <laughs> I can't even come down the steps half the time, so I'm just like, there's boxes everywhere. Well, you know, our mailman hates us. Absolutely hates us. So I think for Christmas, she's going to get a, um, she's going to get something <laughs> from us. You're like, thanks for not, you know, throwing the packages at the door. <laughs> so now we're going to get to the Fun Days box. And everybody's opening their Fun Days box and... I just, you know, I, I'm showing really good, like, self-control by the fact that I've had this I, yes, in my, you know, days. entryway for several days and I haven't opened it. I know a lot of peoples have come a little jacked up, um, so we're going to see what we got here. <laughs> so, um, I opened it and uh, they fell out of the bottom. <laughs> so, um, here's the tiki. Uh, but all the pops are in this box. Okay. Wow. Well, I hope they're not damaged. I hope they're not either, but they probably are because most of them are damaged. Oh. So, I, I haven't looked. I don't know what... Well, you this know. is a cool gimmick. It, it is a cool gimmick. We can save our change. <laughs> yeah, we can put a little hole at the top. and Well, I don't know. The bottom's not exactly sturdy, so... Uh, I, I got it. I can figure it out. <laughs> all, right. all right. So, pretty much you're saying... Okay, so I should get prepared. Yeah, you should get prepared. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this, and we're going to pull the pops out of the, the shipping box, okay, I so guess. Okay, so we have to guess. So I'm going to, I brought up my phone with the, with the Funko app. Okay. So I'm going to be completely honest. Anything short of Rick, Toxic Rick, and Merman, I'm going to be pretty upset. But I already know my boy Nerdsmithing got that exact box, so I'm hoping there was another one floating around. And it ends up right here. Well, of course, you know, Rick and Morty. That's, yeah. that's my shit. Um, 
The only and thing I, I know there's a Chucky. There's two Chuckies. There's a regular Chucky okay. and a bloody Chucky. I mean, you know, horror you can't go wrong with horror. Horror. Yep. Uh, okay. There's like Batman, Joker, Surfs Up. Um, you've went too far. Okay, it stops. Right there at Surfer, Surfer Freddy. Freddy. Yeah. And it goes up to, to that, the that Chucky. Chucky. Okay. So, um, I I'm gonna guess that the first one is super... Here's the thing. I hope none of them are tiki's. I got a buddy of mine who loves everything spastic plastic. Yeah. And I do love spastic Th plastic. There's some really cool ones. There's some really cool what? ones. But in this box, mm. I don't want there to be spastic plastic. Right. Um, I want there to be Freddy Funkos. And I'm going to guess that the first one, just because I, I know I'm not going to get what I want, I'm going to guess Surfer Freddy. You know what's fucked up is I was gonna say that. Oh. But which which, which one? There's Joker. There's no, Batman. no 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 no. There's actual Surfer oh, Freddy. Oh, I see it. I was actually thinking the the Surfs Up Batman. The Surfs Up Batman. Yes. So that's my guess. Uh, let's see here. I don't feel any damage right away. Um, I'm sorry we're not pulling them out of the tube. Uh, UPS did that for us. Um, so the first one is. Oh. Oh shit! It really? is Surfs Up Batman. <laughs> Woo! The first one we got is Surfs Up Batman. I mean, it sucks because you know it's not Rick and Morty, <laughs> um, which I have zero interest in. I'm not a Batman guy. We just talked about that. Right. I just bought the Batman because it was in the bundle. Um, but the box on here, honestly, is pristine. Um, it well, it's is also in the top too. Perfect condition. So, um, however, I was wrong, That's and. Uh, which, which psychic ability? Which piece is that? Is it a uh, five thousand piece okay. surfs up or yeah surfs up Batman Freddy? Well, it's funny too if you look at the box of fun, like the font, it looks like SpongeBob. <laughs> All right, well, I guess SpongeBob. you know taking those other shots earlier. I guess I got to do another one. Yeah, but no, I mean it's definitely cute. I mean because we really didn't have any. Okay, so we have a ton two. of Freddy. Funko. So like <laughs> a few months ago, we didn't have like. Almost any Freddy Funko. I think one of the very first ones was that Pennywise. Yeah, yeah. And that kind of... Which came from last Ooh. year's Box of Fun. Yes. So, we've got one there. Alright. So, then we got to guess one more. And... I'm going to go with Normal Rick. You're going to go with Normal Rick. Do I stick with Surfer Freddy or do I change it? I, I You're going to go with Normal Rick. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is the non-bloody Chucky. Okay. All right? All right. Nope. So, I already know what this is just by touching it, and I'm a little bitter about it. We're what? both wrong. We're both going to have to take a shot. It is a spastic plastic. I just don't what? know How which one it is. Tell? I can tell because the boxes glow in the dark. Oh, the feel sticker? No, I can feel the raised of the Funko uh, logo on there, so let's see which one it is. Oh. This one is Elwood. This is a 3,000-piece Elwood, which is like their Elvis mm. um, tiki guy. But that's all right. Elwood is damaged, though. So we were both wrong, and it's damaged, so we're going to have to take a shot regardless. Uh, <laughs> Boo. So bottoms Boo. up. Yeah, no, I really we have one more, more box, and the damage, it's kind of minor, it's just down here in the bottom corner, I know that won't come off on video, because we don't have the fancy setup like a lot of guys that put their hand behind it and all that, I don't know how to do any of that stuff, so it's just right here in the corner, um, you put it in a, in a soft protector and it'll be fine, um, but I'll end up trading this to my boy, I'm sure, uh, who's a huge spastic plastic fan, so we both got to do a little bottoms up here, bottoms up to you at home, remember to like, share, subscribe. Alright, we're down to the last one. And I'm bitter. Oh, we got a guess. We got a guess. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I want Toxic Rick. I feel toxic inside. You feel toxic? I'm going to go back to Surfer Freddy. No, give me Toxic Rick. She wants Toxic Rick. Look, I don't ask for much, okay? Pops. They come and go. It is what it don't get me wrong. But we'll I, end up with them. We'll get them. That's right. not a question. But I would like to have it right now. Yes. All right. You ready? And I want to make it to glow in the dark. 
I got bad news. No! Is it another one of them? It is. Come it is. On. I can feel it. I can feel it. And it is Dino, another of the tiki's. I said I wanted no tiki's. I got two tiki's. And um, I'm Dude, gonna. You did this. This is your fault because you're like anything, anything but the tiki's. <laughs> And we have tiki's, guys. So, um, that's alright. You know, Ugh. we'll end up with the ones we want. And people that end up with these, will, that want these, will end up with these as well. So, um, box of fun. I need them. It was still oh, fun. It, it was. And, um, was... I've drank <laughs> a lot of that bottle. Yeah. So, you've got to pour yours. I'm pouring it. So, remember, guys, like, share, subscribe. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram at pop. Underscore. Drunk. Underscore. And, uh... Oh, oh party foul. We're, we're almost to oh. the point at 500 subscribers where we're going to give away some yes, stuff. Yes! We got to get there. We got to get there. And we, you know what? Here's the thing, though. When I when we first started this, uh, when I first started the Instagram myself, it was just whatever. I want to take pictures of my pops. They didn't go along with, like, my personal page. And then people just started following it. And I thought that was super awesome. Now we're almost 1,000 there. Yeah, um good. And then here we are on YouTube with almost 500 subscribers, and that's just awesome, guys. We appreciate each and every one of you. Yeah. Um, let's do one more shot here. What do you think? Mm. All right, mm. so mm. bottoms up, guys. Yay, it's a toxic Heather. Ooh! Oh, you didn't even drink it all. I'm doing it! <laughs> uh, so, guys, uh, let's... let's the, the, the following ones weren't as easy as the first one, were they? They're supposed to get easier. <laughs> <laughs> no, but usually when, back in the day, I would take shots. I'd be, like, dancing and shit. So I'd be like, ah, just take a shot. No, that's, you sit, it just, it just stays in you. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in again. I know we have, we have some San Diego Comic-Con related mystery boxes coming in, uh, from Chrono Toys. Um, I've got some other mail calls from Target. I hope anybody... That at least wanted a target dog, uh, fluffy uh, bull or flocked bullseye. Hope everybody that wanted one got one. Most likely, most didn't. Um, um, I'm not gonna say whether I did or I didn't because I don't want to, you know, upset anybody. Spoiler alert: I didn't get one. <laughs> I didn't get one, so I'm gonna have to go third party or wait for uh, a restock. Huh? Now, no, I really didn't. I got everything else on Target Con. I did not get the flocked bullseye wow. because. It just crashed. Uh, I was there for 20 minutes waiting for it to, to refresh, after and on the app, it never went live. Like, oh. on my app, it was after 9 p.m., and it still said coming soon, oh. and it just never went live. So, um, guys, thanks for tuning yeah. in. Thanks for watching us open the box of fun. Yes, and also comment... And thank you, last time there were a lot of recipes, a lot of yes. <laughs> added. You know, if you want to send recipes, awesome, right? Yes. Yes, if you have a good recipe for a hairy buffalo or something that um, give us some drinks the, ideas, yes, guys. Yes, let us know um, for future ones because a lot of times, like today, we were just like, "What can we drink that goes with San Diego?" Yeah, I couldn't think of anything. It was rough. So. so here's the deal: give us your drinks down below. Yes. Um, preferably like not like stuff I've got to make. Yeah, like, like I don't, mixes or anything. I don't anything want to like mix that. them. I just want to take shots. So if there's yes. something, and don't get me wrong, you know your jacks, your crowns, we know all that stuff. Right. I want some obscure things. Right. That we have to search for. Yes, I want to search for it. Yes. So, guys, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, it was a box of fun. Yay. And as cheesy as that was. Um, hopefully, we'll be back in the next few days when those Chrono Toys Mystery Boxes shows up. We appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in with us. Uh, we appreciate each and every one of that likes, shares, subscribes, and goes to our Instagrams and does all that stuff, too. And uh, that's pretty much all I've got. You got yeah. anything for the people? No, man. I, I love you guys. I love seeing, like, we have all these followers. I get, like, little notifications. I love notifications. So. I love booze. So the more you subscribe, the more booze I get yeah, to drink. Yeah, more comments, too. I get <laughs> notifications. So just comment and say, yeah, drink this. Or blah, blah, blah. This is my favorite TV show. All Let's right. Go. Big shout out to everybody. Uh, shout out to my boy Wasatch Pop uh, wearing his shirt today. Shout out to Hot Topic for supporting <laughs> my, um, my my 90s childhood yes. addiction. 90s baby, 80s baby. So. Yeah. I'm an '80s child. But you don't, as well. you don't, you don't, you don't represent the '80s like Fair. I represent. I do. The 80s. I represent 
very much the 90s. <laughs> yes. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate you tuning in with us every time we upload a show. Um, hopefully we'll see you in a couple days. Yeah. Until then, uh, drink responsibly. Deuces. Peace.